join with communities around the United States and around the world, people like us who know the high price for failing to address the senseless carnage on our streets. It's not just that New Yorkers are losing people on our streets, but this is a national epidemic, similar to what we've seen with opioids and cigarette smoking. 40,000 Americans die every year. That's 100 people a day. It's unacceptable. We need to end the silence on traffic violence. And today we're demanding that all elected officials take a stand with us and that put a plan in place that no more Americans will have to die on our streets. The 100 body bags are representative of the 40,000 people we lose annually to traffic violence. It's got to stop. You know, I'm a survivor of traffic violence. Car hit and left me for dead, broke my shoulder, my ankle, I had a concussion. That's not cool. And my mom was a victim of a hit and run crash. Broke her hip, her femur, shoulder. She had to learn how to walk again. This school, a regular school trip, and he was struck by a vehicle due to the lack of street safety. This was not an accident. This is a crash. It's very important that we remember uh, people who have been victims of traffic violence over the last uh, few decades. And, uh, you know, we've turned out to be uh, kind of the spearhead of the movement to change that. Because when something so cruel and unfair and wrong happens, the natural human condition is to turn inward. What the scriptures tell us to light a candle, You're trying to use all the energy you have left despite what happened to you, despite the hole in your heart that will never go away to prevent it from happening to someone else, in all likelihood someone you won't even know.